Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'll take a look at adding search functionality to header layouts. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. I've imported a header layout from Avada Studio here, and in this video I'm going to update the header layout to include a search field. There are a couple of ways to add search functionality to a header layout. One is the search element. You can add this anywhere in your content, including a header layout. The other is the search item in the Avada Special Menu Items, found in the actual menus. Each has their own advantages and disadvantages, and it will depend very much on the header layout you have as to which one you would choose. Let's start with the search item found in the Avada Special Menu Items. I'll edit the menu element, and then the menu itself. And under the Avada Special Menu Items, I can add the search item to the menu. If I then edit the Avada menu options, I have a few options around the way the search item displays. If I leave it on inline, it will display next to the other menu items. I'll just save this, and the menu, and come back and refresh our header layout. OK, here's the search field. It's not fitting at the moment due to the size of the columns. So here I could make the logo column 1 fifth, and the menu column 4 fifths, and it now fits. If I move down to medium screens, with this header, the menu reduces to a mobile menu, and we can now find our search field at the bottom of the menu items. Alternatively, I might just use the history states to revert back to the original setup, and save the header layout, and then go back to the menu. Now I will select drop down instead. Let's select a search icon, and under this I will choose to display only the icon. Otherwise it would just say search next to the icon. OK, let's save that, and the menu, and come back to the header layout section and refresh again. OK, we need to change the color of the icon in the menu element, which is on the main tab, at the very bottom. I'll just set that to color 1, and once that's done, it looks good, and a drop-down search field appears when we click. On medium screens, however, when the menu reduces to a mobile menu, the search does not display in the mobile menu. OK, let's try the other one. I'll just come back to the menu, and this time I will choose Overlay. Let's save that, and save the menu, and refresh our header. And now when we click, the search field is overlaid over the main menu. That looks cool. But what about on responsive views? OK, so again the search field is found at the bottom of the mobile menu. So now let's look at what we might be able to do with the search element instead, or perhaps even a combination of both. With this header, there are already two items in each column, and there will be even less space available in responsive views. So to me, it would make the most sense to add the search element in its own container. I'll just add a container under this one, add some top and bottom padding, and give it a background color. I'll also remove the default bottom margin on the added column. So now if I add the search element, it sits at the bottom of the header, and as I move down in screen size, it remains in its own column, and looks great. This would work just fine by itself. In other headers it might be more feasible to add the search element in the same container as the main menu, with the column potentially reducing in size as the screen gets smaller. Now of course we still have the search icon in the menu on desktop, and in the mobile menu on responsive views. We could of course just remove that, and always have this container at the bottom of the header. Alternatively, we could turn visibility off on this container for large screens, or we could use rendering logic to achieve the same thing. And if we do that, the overlay search works on large screens, and when we come down to medium screens, the bottom container reappears, and we have a direct search there. Now in this situation, we still have the search in the mobile menu, so there's a duplication there. You might think that's OK. If you wanted to remove it though, you could make a duplicate menu without the search item in it, and then duplicate the menu column, and set the new menu to it, and with either rendering logic or visibility options, choose to display the original menu column just on desktop, and display the alternate one just on medium and small screens. Let's preview that and have a look. On large screens we have the search icon at the end of the menu, which works as an overlay. And if we come down to medium screens, the search container with the element appears, and if we look at the drop-down menu, we can see there is no search field at the bottom, so we know this is the alternate menu column that's loading here. 
OK, hopefully you can see that there are many, many options here. The right solution will of course depend entirely on your header design and your individual preferences. Have a play around, it's the best way to learn. OK, this concludes our video on adding search functionality to header layouts. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.